Hi guys, this is Rick, the Watchman here. Just wanted to do a short video on some things that are going on. You know, uh, whether you like Donald Trump or you don't like Donald Trump. As surely as I'm speaking to you now, you know, the scripture declares that God puts in power who he chooses to put in power. God chose to put Barack Obama in power because the country wasn't ready yet to stand up against the things that are that were going on it was um it was judgment in a sense and it, but it was also a way to 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 bring the citizens of the United States to a point where they were fed up with what's going on they'd had enough it kept piling on and piling on and piling on and finally they came to a point where they were just fed up and they said, that's enough. And many, many prayers went out. And from the moment that, that Donald Trump stepped on the stage, his popularity just, just took off. The things that he was saying, at first, you know, a lot of people didn't know how to take him because he was a little rough around the edges with his speeches and the things that he said. And yes, he said some things he shouldn't have said. Um, but... He was saying a lot of the things that we all think, but a lot of but a lot of these politicians refused to say. Well, the time came, and of course now he's our president. And it's, and I, and I'm telling you right now that Donald Trump has an anointing upon him to bring this nation back to where it needs to be, back to where it's going to be. And a few years ago, the Lord gave me a word that I spoke out at the church and part of that word was that this nation was going to have another party spring out of it that thing that things were going to get ugly for a little while and that, that there's going to be a great division but in the end there was going to be another party to spring out of it apart from Democrat and Republican because they're all in bed together anyway you can see that. You can see the way things have been going up until now, and you can see it going on now. And that third party is going to be a covenant party. It may not be called the covenant party, but that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a covenant party. It's going to be a party that is coming back to the founding principles that this nation was founded on, and that was the covenant with God. Our Constitution is inspired by God. Many of the men that were involved were Christians. And it was even stated by many of the founding fathers that without God and without the Christian faith, the United States wasn't going to make it. That it wasn't going to make it. And so now we have a president who is finally standing up and doing the right thing, following, in, trying to enforce the laws and trying to do away with the corruption and these and and the illegal presidential orders that were put forth by Barack Obama and many of these laws that are that are there to do nothing but oppress us and bring us down Donald Trump has an anointing upon him and everybody who is speaking against Donald Trump those things that they're speaking are speaking their own judgment. When you put your mouth against the against the anointing, against the man, a man who is carrying the anointing. When you put your mouth against God's anointed, and you speak judgment, you're speaking your own judgment. That's why you've seen what's going on with Pelosi. And of course, now they're talking about bringing um, investigation against Loretta Lynch which is going to involve Hillary Clinton, which is going to involve James Comey. They're all in bed together. Back in New York, when Comey was vice president of HSBC Bank, he was also involved with money laundering from, from the Clinton Foundation. And Loretta Lynch, lo and behold, was uh, attorney general in New York. And they were all in bed together. 
And they all know, and I'm sure that Hillary Clinton is reminding them more than once, especially we saw that when Comey stood up there when he should have been bringing charges against her but chose not to, despite a list of laws broken, you know, felony after felony, but that if one goes down, they all go down. And that's exactly what's going to happen. It was prophesied, many people prophesied seeing Hillary Clinton behind bars. And that is what's going to happen. It's going to come. And Lynch and Comey and uh, the Clintons and probably Bill too because because Bill was the one that met with Loretta Lynch as an obstruction of justice. He had no business being there and he knew it. He knew he's breaking a law. And you're going to see more and more of these politicians start to fall like dominoes. When Trump said he's draining the swamp, what happens when you drain a swamp? All of a sudden, all the snakes are exposed and they start scattering. And that's what's going on. Guys, we need to pray for Donald Trump. We need to pray for this nation like never before. Just because he's president, we cannot let our guard down. We can't let our guard down. We need this nation to come back. Donald Trump is fighting for us every step of the way. And if you don't believe that, then you might need to pray a little bit more. And see what God thinks about it. And see what God leads you to do. I'm not saying to support a political party. I'm not saying anything like that. There's not, But there's nothing wrong with mis mixing politics with the Word of God. Because the Word of God has a lot to do with politics. The things going on with our nation. Um, with, with everything with our nation. And it's because of the prayers of the saints that Donald Trump was elected president. We could have had another eight years of something even worse that we, that we just got rid of. And that would have been Hillary Clinton. But the prayers of the saints, God heard the prayers of the saints. And he put a righteous man. I'm not saying he's a perfect man. But he's a righteous man. He, he speaks of God all the time, but you're, you're going to hear more and more of him confessing about giving his life to Christ. He, he, he is going to come to Christ. He is going to be born again, 100% rock and roll. I guarantee it. And that's the word of God. So we can't let our guard down, guys. We need to support him. We need, we need to be praying for him every day. And we need to be active. We need to be moving into these territories that have been dominated by the enemy for far too long. When we're talking about government, we're talking about big business, we're talking about the music industry, we're talking about the movie industry, banking, whatever it may be. We need to, we need to start moving into the territories that the church has been afraid to have anything to do with. That, oh no, 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 that's... That's taboo, you know. There's too there's too much evil, you know, going on in the music industry. Too you know, too much evil in Hollywood. Big banking, big money. Oh man, you know those are those, you know those guys are strong, elite. They're satanic. We can't touch that. We you know that's 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 not us. Wrong, wrong. It's time for us to start taking back the territory that we have allowed the enemy to take. Where were we when we were losing hold of our financial system? Where were we when all the abortion clinics were being built? Standing outside, and there's nothing wrong with standing outside trying to save these women as they're, as they're going, you know, going in. That's all well and good. But you got to cut off the head. You got to go where the funding is. But where were we as all these babies were being killed? Where were we? When they passed gay marriage, where was the church? Where were we? Why did we allow it to happen? I allowed it to happen too. I'm just as guilty as anybody. Well, you know what? It's time for that to come to a stop. It's time for us to stand up and start acting like the men and women of God that we are. And don't, don't, don't count on the church because 99% of the churches out there will not move outside the four walls that they're sitting in. And if they do, 
their first concern is going to be their 5013C tax exemption. Now, I'm not talking about all churches. There are some who are willing to get out there and, and, put, and put their butts on the line in the name of God and trying to make change. You're going to see more and more of these, these home ministries, ministries going on inside houses. You're going to see these mega churches falling away, falling away. Because there's a move of God coming, up, coming upon this nation like you have never seen. And he is preparing his people. We've been going through the fire. We've been tested. We're being prepared. The glory is coming. And he's preparing this nation. He's setting the stage. But you cannot put old, new wine into old wineskins. When the glory comes... You're either going to carry it because you're a clean vessel, because you're ready for it. Or it's either going to come upon you and it's going to bring judgment. And it's going to, and it, and it's going to crush you. That's a fact. So guys, you know, um, we got to put away our petty unforgiveness, our differences. These, these these denominational lines, you know, uh, you know what this church thinks, what that church thinks. What does that have to do with God? It's 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 about what God thinks. It's about Jesus. It's about the Holy Spirit. And it's about us being the army of God, the soldiers. Not an acts of violence, because our fight is not against flesh and blood. But our fight is against principalities and rulers of darkness, against demons. And let me tell you something. The enemy's pulling out all the stops, all the stops, because he knows his time is short and he sees what's going on in this nation. And the enemy is pulling out all the stops. The enemy is ramping up. I saw a vision not long ago. It was an open-eyed vision. And I was standing on the wall of, of a castle wall open, looking out right above a massive door and as i looked out across the uh, you know across the landscape the enemy was 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 stacked shoulder to shoulder as far as the eye could see and the lord told me they're getting ready to come in that they're coming in and there's getting ready to be a flood of the enemy that they're pulling out all the stops and they're calling out everything that they've got and they're throwing everything at us that they can. It's not going to get easier. It's not going to get easier. When you gave your life to Christ, you became a target. The enemy, the enemy hates you. The world hates you. But we go on. We fight. It's not going to get easier. But we know what our end is. This life is meaningless. It's going to be just a just a blink of an eye when you think about eternity, when you look at eternity. Just a blink of an eye. And you're going to look back and you say, it was such a short time. What did I do with my time? Are you going to say, I made the most of it? Or are you going to say, I wasted so much of it that I really missed the mark? You guys be blessed. I love you guys, you know. Not every message I put out is going to be like this, you know. It's going to be some encourage, you know. I, I, try to, I try to encourage you guys and just let you know that, that you're walking in a lot of power and you just, and most of it, most of us have no idea how much power we're truly walking in. Stand up and fight. You guys be blessed. I'm out of time. I love each and every one of you. Like me on Facebook, Crypto C Watchman. Or send me an email if you need prayer or want to talk about anything, whatever it may be. Be blessed, guys.